How do I log into Google Classroom? Can I see notifications when new assignments are posted? How do I know if my teacher received the work that I turned in? I have classes on my login that I no longer take. Can I get rid of them? Why can't I type on my assignment? We will cover all that and more in this video. Keep watching for Google Classroom Frequently Asked Questions. Google Classroom can be an amazing tool for teachers and students. It can also be very frustrating when you're first learning how to use it. It's important to remember that every teacher's classroom will look differently, but Google Classroom should still function the same. In our current situation, teachers are learning Google Classroom at the same time you are, so please keep in mind that it may take us all some time to be comfortable with digital learning. If you have any questions at all, please check with your teacher. If you're not sure how to log into Google Classroom, please watch the four minute video on the Wicomico County resource page. I have attached a link to this tutorial in the video description. Can I change the page with all my classes on it? Once you are logged into Google Classroom, you will see your classes. If this is your first time logging in, you may have to accept a class that your teacher has invited you to join. If you don't see a class that you think you should see, ask your teacher. You may also have to archive a class that you are no longer taking. In this example, keyboarding was from the first semester. To remove the class from your view, click on the three little dots on the top right hand side and click Unenroll. This will unenroll you from the class and you will no longer see it in your view. If you accidentally unenroll from a class, contact your teacher to be added back in. You can also rearrange your class. To rearrange your classes, click on the three little dots in the top right hand side and say Move. You can choose to move your class to the beginning, to the end, or after another class. This gives you the chance to rearrange your classes. You may want to put the classes that you are currently receiving assignments in at the top and those that will be giving you assignments in weeks to come towards the bottom. It's up to you as to how you want it to be rearranged. If your class has an upcoming assignment due, you may see notifications at the front of the page. And if you don't see notifications, that's okay too. You can simply click on the class that you wish to view and look under your stream. Every time something new has been assigned, you will see a notification on your stream. This is also where you can check for messages from your teacher. Another option is to check your to-do list. If you click on the three little lines, commonly referred to as the hamburger, and click on to-do, you will see all of your assignments that are coming up. You can switch by all classes, or you can click on a particular class. You can sort by what you still have left to do in that class, or what you have already completed. How do I know if my teacher received my assignment? When you have completed an assignment and turned it in, your Google Classroom will change colors. So notice that these assignments are still in blue while this one is in gray. This one was due on March 26th. If I click on it, you can see that it says graded. So on the top right hand side, I can see that it's graded. I can also go to view assignment and I can see that I have a private comment. So in this case, the teacher said, please finish this assignment to get credit. So sometimes your teachers can leave you comments and this is where you can see it. You can add a comment back to your teacher and hit the send to post it to them. If you need to resubmit or change something, you can click on the resubmit button. It will allow you to change it and then turn it back in. If you're still not sure if your teacher has received the assignment, send your teacher an email or ask them. Why can't I type on the file attached to my assignment? There are several reasons why you might not be able to type on your assignment. The first reason might be because your teacher accidentally set up the assignment incorrectly. When setting up an assignment, the teacher needs to choose the option, make a copy for each student. If they choose view only, then you will only be able to view the assignment. If they choose student may edit file, every student in your class will be editing the same file. If this is the case, you may want to let your teacher know that you can't type on the assignment. The option your teacher should select is make a copy for each student. Another reason you may not be able to type on your assignment is because it has not been converted to a Google file. Ideally, your teacher would use only Google Files when setting up your class assignments. Google Docs is equivalent to Microsoft Word. Google Slides is equivalent to Microsoft PowerPoint. And Google Sheets is similar to Microsoft Excel. If your teacher has attached a non-Google file, you can convert it to a Google file so that you can type on it. In this example, the attached file is a Word document. To be able to type on it, it needs to be converted to a Google Doc. To do this, click on the three little dots on the right hand side, select open a new window, then select open with Google Docs. Your file has now been converted into a typable file. Since this is a Google Doc, it saves automatically. When finished, simply close out, go back to your assignment, choose view assignment, 
Select Add or Create and Add from your Google Drive. You should see the assignment you just finished typing right here. Add a comment to your teacher if you wish and turn it in when you are ready. If I'm drawing or handwriting an assignment, can I turn it into Google Classroom? Yes, you can turn in anything through Google Classroom by attaching a photograph. The easiest way to do that is to download the Google Classroom app on your phone or your tablet. Simply take a picture of your work with your phone and upload it through the app. As we transition to digital learning, remember, it's important to communicate with your teachers. If you have a question, please ask.